My name is Derek Badala. I am the sales manager at RME, and today we are at Sweetwater to talk about the RME Octomic XTC, as well as how it applies to your home or professional studio, either with other audio interfaces or like we have it set up here with an RME Matty Face. Uh, Pro could be any RME interface of your choosing. At its core, this is a basic 1RU 8-channel mic preamp. And what we want to talk about is the value of this product, all the different benefits that it gives you, because you're going to see at the end of this video, this product offers quite a bit of capability for your studio. And we're going to go over some of those things right now, what differentiates it from every other choice on the market. First of all, this product is a digitally controlled mic pre. Each microphone preamp can be remote controlled digitally, either over MADI, USB, or directly connected to a MIDI port on the computer. And it can actually be daisy chained up to eight units. So if you use this product and want to expand your studio, you can use MADI and actually, as you, as you see here, we have a, a MADI cable connected, like the one you see in this shot and you can literally put eight units on a single MADI line. MADI supports 64 channels of audio. This product also features eight channels of AES-CBU and eight channels of ADAT light pipe. So any one of those digital combinations can be used to connect to your studio. But when you use it with MADI, you have the added advantage of being able to go long distances up to hundreds of meters and control it remotely. So this could be in your studio performance space while your computer and your audio interface is close to you in your control room. I also want to show you a very cool feature of the Octomic XCC with the MIDI remote app. This is free of charge on the RME website. You can use this with this product, just connecting it one of those three ways, MIDI, MADI, or USB, and if you're using it with other products. So it gives you full functionality of the unit. You can do everything on the unit that you can do on the front panel, you can do with the remote app. You also get all signal, feedback, control fan and power levels, everything. The other thing that the OctaMic XTC has integrated is a seamless technology to RME's Total Mix. So when you are using this product with Total Mix effects, you can see that we actually turned our eight channels of digital I.O. in Total Mix into regular microphone preamps. And this allows you to control and see everything that's going on in the studio space. So this is a really unique feature to this product. Also, a very lesser known feature, but quite exciting feature, is the built-in Q-Mix system. You'll notice on the front panel there are two separate headphone jacks. These headphone jacks can be configured to be separate mixes that you control via total mix if you're using an army interface or you can assign on the front panel what you want to go to those headphone mixes. Now I mentioned that this can be an expandable mic pre and we have an actual shot a diagram example where we're showing three Octomic XTCs connected via one MADI cable and this allows you to set up a typical 24 channel mic input studio each headphone jack is a separate headphone mix that can be driven and controlled from your computer and using Total Mix Remote, which is a free product from RME and it works with any RME interface, your musicians can use an iPad and create their own stereo submixes right there where they're playing. We're the only company that offers this type of functionality in a regular 8-channel mic pre. And don't forget, this microphone preamp can be expanded so you can go up to some very high level channel counts. Also, this product has a USB onboard, so you can actually use it as a standalone audio interface. While it doesn't have total mix, it does give you direct connectivity to Mac or Windows or a class compliant device like an iPad. So you can use this product just as a standalone eight channel audio interface for recording and then assign your main out of your DAW to one of the two headphone outs for stereo monitoring. The digital I.O. that we provide, the ASCBU, which is eight channels on a D-sub, the 8-out light pipe, which supports up to 192K, and the ability to do MADI through fiber optic, is all accessible on the back panel and can be used as a digital patch bay. And what this means to you is this can be your digital on-ramp into your studio or your off-ramp. So if you want to connect additional studio equipment via digital, you can go into the Octomic XTC and by using the MIDI remote app or the front panel, you can route anything to anything. So our audio driver will see all of that I.O. as selectable, pro, uh, excuse me, selectable inputs to your DAW and you can also send audio back out there. So a couple of application examples we're showing here in this slide where we can connect up to eight Octomic XTCs via a single MADI cable depicted in orange to a MADI Face Pro 
and by using total mix we can set all of our sub mixes and and cue mixes and total mix also includes reverb delay eq so you can create very extensive sub mixes without having to use any plugins and so this is a very key feature that allows you to expand the, this product and do three or four things with this product that normally you would have to spend a lot of money and investment to have those functionalities in your studio if you want to um, put this on a Dante network, you can simply use a MADI to Dante converter. So the advantage of going about your studio in this way is you don't have to pay the licensing fees to Dante. You're actually putting a product that has no licensing fees associated with the price. And if you put two, three, four, five of these in a system connecting via MADI and then just doing one Dante, MADI to Dante conversion, you're only paying that Dante licensing fee one time. And by doing a core system in the MADI domain, it saves you a lot of money. I also don't need a switch to connect any ports to. So this is a huge savings and a great advantage that we offer. And if you want to take the Octomic XTC and really go to very, very large channel counts, here's a diagram showing several units, up to 192 channels of microphone inputs, all connected to an RME HDSP MADI card. There's certainly other numerous ways you can use this product, but these are just some examples of how expandable this product is. This last slide shows you a very easy diagram to understand about how you can access the Q system and also how I'm using this with, it could be a Babyface Pro via ADAT light pipe, or it could be a Mattyface Pro via Matty for more channel count, but the setup is essentially the same. And the idea here is that you're using your Octomic XTC in your studio where your musicians are, and they can just connect directly to their headphone jacks and control all of their Q mixes via Total Mix. What you see here on the table is a Mattyface Pro audio interface which has local inputs, two local inputs and two local inputs on the side for instrument line and it also has MADI optical. It's very similar to the RME Babyface Pro. The only difference is that this offers MADI where the Babyface Pro offers ADAT light pipe. The reason we have it shown with the Octomic XTC is to show a typical example connecting via MADI and being able to use your control room monitors connected to your audio interface if you want to do local recording where your computer is, you can plug your guitar or line level instruments here and your musicians can plug directly into the Octomic using pretty short mic cables, you don't have to run a lot of microphone cable and can do everything in this little system, Q mixes, with total mix, with reverb, with effects, so you, it saves you hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a personal monitoring system because it's all built into the suite that we're showing right here. So as I mentioned, I have a audio interface by RME connected to the Octomic XTC. This is how a typical RME interface would look like where you, your top row represents all of your inputs and this particular interface we have two analog inputs right here. We have our instrument inputs on the side and then the rest of these faders and the rest of these meters represent all of the MADI digital I.O. If there was, were a Babyface Pro, you would see ADAT 1, 2, ADAT 3, 4, all the way to ADAT 7 and 8. Since this is a MADI, you have essentially MADI channels 1 through 64. The middle row is where you can bring in iTunes, your DAW, other software playback sources all come into the middle row. And you can mix those along with inputs for zero latency monitoring. And everything on the output is actually at the bottom row. So each physical output can have a mix. So what I'm going to do is show you a very typical setup with an Octomic XTC. I'm going to actually go to a session where I only want to see one analog input on the audio interface itself and every Octomic input. And what happens is Total Mix becomes your remote control for your mic pre. And of course this particular audio interface gives us EQ as well as the ability to do effects. Um, and I can do effects return and send and add reverb um, that's just for monitoring purposes only. So we have our auto set technology, which is built into the Octomic XTC. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to bring up the gains very high. And while the musicians play, auto set automatically sets the gain staging for you. So if you're using multiple microphones, this can save you a lot of energy by getting all the gain staging correct right out of the gate. You can leave auto set engaged or you can turn it off. Also, we have the ability to turn on our phantom power remotely, 
We can see metering from our mic inputs. We also can engage our pads right here in Total Mix. So this mic pre could be hundreds of meters away and everything is controlled from the computer. Now let me talk a little bit about headphone mixing. Right now we're using the Octomic XTC with Total Mix. So you just simply go to options and you can actually here go settings, choose aux devices and set up what product is connected to the device. By doing that, I can assign different headphone mixes to different outputs. I chose to use MADI output one and two and three and four. So this particular headphone mix can be set by simply creating a mix and that's what's going at headphones two. And if I go to headphones three, I can create a completely independent headphone mix. If I need to put a little bit of reverb on one of the microphones for an artist, I simply bring up the aux send, which is going to the reverb, and bring up the aux return down here. So again, this is a very unique feature to RME, very powerful feature because essentially we have a two QMix system built into every Octomic XTC. So as you expand your system, you're adding two more headphone mix capability to your studio, which is very powerful. If you'd like to get more information about the Octomic XTC or any of the audio interfaces that we've talked about in this video, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Mm -hmm.